In our last video we have learnt about waves. Now we shall try to study as what happens when two wave pulses A and B traveling in opposite directions crosses each other. Overlapped, the wave pulses continue to retain their identities. However, during the time they overlap, the wave pattern coming out reverses their positions as wave pulse B and A. But when two wave pulses of equal amplitude moving in opposite direction towards each other dot the wave pulses overlap the resultant displacement is the algebraic sum of the displacement due to each wave pulse but when two wave pulses having same amplitude but in opposite phase collapses and displacement becomes zero this is known as the principle of superposition of waves we shall now mathematically derive a formula to find the resultant wave. Let us have two waves traveling alone, and the displacements of any element of these two waves can be represented by y, x, t, and y, x, t. When these two waves overlap, the resultant displacement can be given as y, x, t. Mathematically speaking, y, x, t equals y, x, t, jor y, x, t, where y, x, t, equals r sine, k, x minus omega, t, y, x, t, equals r sine, k, x minus omega, t plus phi. The net displacement is then, by the principle of superposition, given by y, x, t, equals a sine, k, x minus omega, t, plus a sine, k x minus omega t plus phi equals r 2 sine k x minus omega t plus phi upon 2 cos minus phi upon 2 equals do r c o s phi 2 sine k x minus omega t plus phi upon 2 hence y x t equals r sine k x minus omega t plus phi open 2 Understanding phi equals 2 pi upon lambda, x, in the figure, a particle when travels crest to crest travels a distance lambda dot at the same time rotate an angle 2 pi. For lambda, phase change is equals 2 pi. For 1, equals 2 pi upon lambda for x, equals 2 pi upon lambda, x hence phase change phi equals 2 pi upon lambda, x.